Hi and welcome back. Today I have a product review video, so I'm going to show you the Tonic Studio The Team Holds Comfort Trimmer. I'm going to show you what you can do with it and what you can't do. By the way, this was not provided by the company. This is not a sponsored video. I am just going to make this review because I got so many questions about it. And uh, hopefully I'm going to help you decide if this is a paper trimmer for you. So this is a very compact guillotine, as you can see it's very small and um, it has a nice arm and uh, it's very lightweight. You can see that the arm goes up and down and it has a nice grip on the side and uh, it's really easy to open and close, you don't need to add a lot of pressure. The blade is uh, self-sharpening and there is this plastic protector that you need to hold when you are cutting your paper because it's going to help you protect your fingers and at the same time it's going to keep the paper so that it doesn't slide. At the bottom it has four rubber feet so it uh, grabs nicely on top of your surface and it's not going to move when you are cutting your paper, especially since I'm using this uh, glass mat at the bottom that is very important for me. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the measurements. There are measurements at the top and at the bottom. They are both on inches and in centimeters, so perfect for all over the world. And um, you can uh, slide your paper towards the top or towards the bottom, depends on what you want to do. In the middle there are uh, a quarter of an inch uh, measurements and everything is engraved in uh, the plastic surface so they will never going to fade out no matter how much you use it. And on this surface there are also popular sizes that are going to help you a lot when you cut out your photos or your uh, papers such as uh, 5 by 7, 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half, 4 by 5 and many more. And now let's talk a little bit on how big that uh, guillotine is and uh, what type of papers you can cut. So this is a six by eight and a half area for cutting. And uh, to tell you the truth, this is uh, advertised as that, but you do get a quarter of an inch more than eight and a half. So that's six by eight and three quarters. Now I have a letter sized uh, paper here that I would normally cut to create my card bases. And you will see that it's not possible for me to cut it lengthwise, which means that with this cutter, it's not possible to create top folding cards. So keep that in mind that you will only be able to create side folding cards with this. But as we move on with this uh, review, I'm going to explain why I love this uh, machine. And uh, since I got it, I keep using it again and again. But remember, this is not your all-in-one paper cutter. So I'm going to cut out the letter-sized cardstock to create a side folding card. I can easily find the marking there. I'm holding it with the plastic protector, mainly because if you don't hold it like that, it's going to slide. You will get a clean and straight cut every time, but make sure to make uh, holding uh, the plastic protector down a habit. Now I'm going to bring in a 12 by 12 pattern paper here, just so you can uh, do the comparison. It's really compact and uh, it's definitely not for scrapbookers who do 12 by 12 layouts. Now, of course, you can use it if you are one of those scrapbookers who do Project Life albums, because you can uh, keep it in your space area and uh, it's going to give you clean cuts on your photos as well. So this is uh, great for, for this, but keep in mind that you will not be able to cut out the larger pattern papers. Now, in my opinion, this is a great guillotine to have on hand as your second compact uh, paper cutter. I do have uh, a couple that I'm going to show you and I have even more in my stash, but um, I usually use the ones with the, um, the blade. So here is one by Tonic Studios and another one by Fiskars. They both have uh, the same system. They work with blades. And since I am a heavy crafter, I cut tons of paper and uh, I find that uh, these blades do dull a lot and I have to replace them quite often. Now, they are okay if you want to cut out um, thin paper like pattern paper, but uh, you need to... to um, Change them more regularly when uh, you use them to cut out thicker paper. I like to use 120 pounds of uh, cardstock for my card bases and uh, I usually don't get a clean cut when my blade is not new. Now I have a blade here that is um, about a month old and um, I will get a clean cut here as you will see. 
but I would normally get frayed edges if uh, it's a couple of months old. And uh, it's always great to use guillotines in uh, this case when uh, you use uh, very thick paper. But uh, the guillotine that I already have is quite large. It has a handle that exceeds the main machine. And you will see a photo here. So I have it stored somewhere else in my craft room and I never tend to grab it. But it's definitely the big mama of paper trimmers. And if you want to invest on one machine for everything, then I would definitely suggest this. And I usually go ahead and uh, use my blades for cutting out this paper with results that I don't really like. So this is why I invested to this uh, smaller guillotine because I think that it doesn't take a lot of space. It's very uh, lightweight and it's easy for me to use every day. I find it very handy, but I will keep my other paper trimmer on uh, the desk as well in case I need to cut out lengthwise one of my card bases. You can push your paper towards the top or the bottom and then uh, use the handle. Notice that I always uh, press the protector and I get a perfect clean cut. Even though my cardstock, the one that I'm using at the moment, is 120, which is the thickest that I use. Now, since I have my other paper trimmers on the desk, I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can extend the life of your blades, even when they are uh, not new and uh, they give you a bit of a frayed edges. Just use a um, printer paper underneath and then uh, place your paper that you want to cut on top. And again, this is the heaviest paper that I have, which is 120 pounds. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to get a perfectly clean cut and at the same time it's not going to cut out the <laughs> printer paper. I don't know why this works but it does. Uh, however, I was a little bit um, uh, fed out of doing this all the time. I had to change the blades all the time just because I cut out such a heavy card base and um, I invested to the new guillotine and it gives me perfect results every time. The blade is uh, self-sharpening so I will never have to change it and uh, as far as now I'm really happy with my investment. And there is one more thing that you can do with a guillotine that is super difficult to do with the blades and that's uh, cutting out super thin strips. So I'm going to bring in uh, this uh, pink cardstock and this is the normal cardstock that you would get like uh, 80 pounds or 100 pounds. And uh, you will see that I'm going to cut out a super thin strip and I get a perfectly clean, clean cut. Very sharp and um, super easy to do. I don't think I can get uh, thinner than that. And since this is a review and we are making the life of this guillotine harder, let's uh, double the layers and try to cut out a thicker paper. I do have to push a little bit harder, but um, it goes through nicely, so you can cut out two cardstocks if you want to. And I did get a clean cut as well. And now I will go ahead and uh, try to cut out through three different layers of uh, cardstock just to test it out. And uh, since this is a review, I always like to uh, take this to the limit so you know what you are going to buy. I do have to press harder. It's not easy to do. It doesn't cut like butter, but it does the job. And uh, it went through three layers of cardstock and everything is cut out clean and sharp. So remember that this is not a heavy duty guillotine, this is a guillotine that was made uh, with the card maker in mind and it would go through three layers of cardstock. However, I do link to a heavy duty guillotine in this video down below and I also mentioned it previously. So he, it is going to cut like butter through pattern paper and um, I'm just showing you here how easy it is to cut. And this is mainly why I decided to invest in this guillotine, ease of use and super compact, perfect for my card making needs. And I'm going to try and add uh, more than um, one pattern paper, so I am testing three pattern papers here and I am sacrificing these beautiful pattern papers just to test it out. These come from a very old paper pad that I had in my stash and uh, now I'm going with uh, five different layers. This time I just need to press 
a little bit harder and it's going to go through beautifully. And again, I get nice clean cuts. So if you want to mass produce for your card making needs and cut out lots of pattern papers at once, it's great. To conclude, I would say that this is a great compact uh, guillotine to have as your go-to everyday paper trimmer. You will not have to change blades since it's self-sharpening. And I believe you will find it very handy, especially if you have uh, the other big paper trimmers that take up a lot of space on top of your desk. Now, on the other hand, if you don't have a paper trimmer at all, then I would suggest to invest on a bigger paper trimmer so that you can cut any size of paper. And then later on, you can maybe invest on a more compact and handy one that you can even take with you on crops. You will find links down below to this guillotine as well as to the other paper trimmers that I went through in this video and I will link to both US and UK online shops. I hope I covered up everything and I helped you decide if this compact guillotine is for you or not. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this trimmer and I would also love suggestions on other products that you like me to review. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.